Hi everyone, welcome back to our short videos on business studies. We are still in the chapter of motivation, specifically in theories, and we are in part two, and let's see what are the theories that we'll be covering today. A bit of a recap of what motivation means, the factors that pushes people to do certain things, to achieve certain goals, and hence why we're learning about theories that, you know, our researchers have put a lot of effort into uh, to explain about what motivates people. Okay, so um, let's move on. Let's look at the list of researchers. All right, Taylor, Mayo, Maslow, Herzberg, McClellan, and Vroom. We have covered Taylor and Mayo in our first part, and today we will be looking at Maslow in part two. Okay, so now let's talk about Maslow and his hierarchy of needs. Basically, this hierarchy of needs consists of five basic needs that Maslow believes all human beings would want to achieve one by one to the point they reach at the peak of this pyramid. Okay, so at the base of this pyramid is called physical needs. So Maslow says that every human being would want to fulfill these physical needs, for example, to ensure that they have food, right? Uh, they have clothes, right? Water, right? Air to breathe, okay? These are all the physical needs that a human being needs and want to achieve. If they have that fulfilled, then the next thing that a human being wants to fulfill is the need for safety. What does that mean? They want to feel safe, right? By owning homes, all right, having medical coverages, right? So these are uh, having jobs, okay? This helps them to keep them safe. The next thing a human being wants to achieve after safety needs is achieved is social needs. They want to have friends. They want to feel belonged. They want to have people whom they can con confide with, all right, and call friends, okay? Uh, and that is what social needs here mean, okay? After that is achieved, then a human being will want to feel more confident. This falls under esteem needs. So, and how do they do that? They want to achieve power, status, recognition, independence. Okay, this is a need as well for a human being to achieve. Okay, and at the peak of this pyramid is self-actualization. All right. So Maslow says having achieved physical needs, safety needs, social needs, esteem needs, leads them to reaching the peak, which is self-actualization, where they would have felt, that individual would have felt that they have achieved and able to reach his or her fullest potential, okay? They know exactly what they're here to do, what they want in life, they're, you know, they have their minds open, so to speak, all right? So it's very, very hard to put into an example of, you know, how exactly a person has achieved a self actualization because it varies from one individual to another but according to Maslow these five needs are motivators right the reason why people do things they want to achieve each and every one of this need okay in the next slide we'll look at some examples uh, some practical examples of how Maslow's needs can be applied in an organization Okay, let's put back some of the important points here. Physical needs, safety needs, social needs, esteem needs, and self-actualization. Okay, and what we will do now is look at how practical or how organizations could use Maslow, right? In terms of fulfilling an employee's physical need, then we look at wages or salary that's paid appropriately enough according to the current standard of living so it should reach a minute the minimum wage set by a particular country where you pay employees accordingly so they, they, can, they can afford to at least eat all right or to pay rent all right in that sense okay in terms of safety need employers can look at providing you know job security to their employees, right? For example, ensuring that uh, with employment comes good medical coverage for themselves, right? If they can't afford to, you know, uh, provide medical coverage for the whole family, you know, of the employee, but it, it may not really matter, but they should be able to provide good medical or adequate medical benefits for their employees, right? 
or if they have temporary staffs, right, uh, who who has been working very well and 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 you know is affected because uh, has affected work because they do not have you know a, a proper place to stay and things like that, then providing you know them with full time employment or giving them some housing allowance or you know or anything of that sort would help fulfill an employee's safety need. All right. In terms of social needs, right, what employers can do is to ensure that the environment that they provide in the office in terms of hiring workers, uh, creating a good culture, good environment where, work, where employees are all supportive of each other. Teamwork, collaboration is great in that organization. That would help fulfill an employee's social need. It will make it easier for an employee to speak to other people or you know, open up, okay, and this helps achieve their social needs, right? In terms of esteem needs or confidence, right, then employers can help boost that confidence level by recognizing employees who perform well, right? Uh, employee of the month, right? Certificates and, and uh, you know, gift cards and things like that, right? Uh, to show or to single out that employee who is performing well, right? And that builds up the confidence of that person. And, you know, uh, it, it makes him or her, uh, pushes him or her to the next step, all right? Where we look at self-actualization, okay? Achieving your full potential. How can organizations help employees achieve their full potential, right? Giving them variety in their jobs, giving them the ability to think outside the box, to do things that will help benefit the organization in the long run, all right? Giving opportunities uh, for them to discover themselves, allowing them to go for new skill trainings, you know, that, that, that helps them open up new thinking, new ways, new ideas, right? Promoting them to show them that they can do more, okay? Uh, these are all steps to to enable an employee to discover who he or she really is, okay? So, as you can see, these are some practical examples that companies or organizations can do, right, to help fulfill an employee who may fall, an, an employee need who may fall in any one of these categories or more than one for that matter, okay? So, although Maslow's theory did speak about fulfilling the most basic need uh, well, they are all basic needs, but the most, um, the foundation of the need, which is physical needs to the top, right? In actual fact, in today's business world, employees may fall in any one of these needs. You may have a colleague in the office who has a hard time communicating to other people, all right? And that is affecting the way he or she is delivering their job, okay? So what do you do, all right? How do you manage employees like that, okay? You have an employee who performs really, really well, okay, but is always coming late to work, all right? Uh, what could be the reason behind it, all right? Because upon checking, you find out that this employee is staying very, very far and needs to be, you know, taking two or three different routes to work, okay? And that is challenging for him or her, okay? So what do employers do? to support employees like this who are performers but have challenges in their life, all right? So we have to look at them on a one-to-one -one basis and employers can find out what to do, all right, with these examples to be applied, okay? Okay, now this slide tells you that we are almost at the end of this uh, lesson and what is your takeaway? You should be able to understand and explain the works of Maslow and what are the main ideas uh, you know that you've gathered from his theory. Okay, um, I would always suggest and I think I repeat this in almost every one of my videos that Revision is very, very important. Uh, supplementary notes is very, very important to help you understand the works of these theories or the researchers better, okay? So this is the end of today's class, all right? In the next video, I will be talking about Herzberg, all right? Uh, that will be part three. And for now, if you have any questions, the email address is on the screen for you to write to me if you 
need to right now i'll do my best to respond to you as soon as i can so yeah thank you for watching and do look out for the next video on hersberg have a pleasant day